The dangerous morning commute in the northeast. Much of the snow from the northeast are turning to ice overnight as temperatures plunged. Rob Marciano is live in Hartford, Connecticut for us this morning. Good morning, Rob. Hey, good morning, Michael. Yeah, it's a lot colder now than it was yesterday, and it finally happened. Didn't it? The first significant snowfall that included Metro New York up through lower New England here in central Connecticut. Uh, spots got over 15 inches of snow. The, uh, the capital here, well over a foot. It's pretty crusty now, but it came down. It was wet. It was heavy. That made it for to be very slippery and just a massive mess on the roads. Overnight temperatures plummeting. Big snow and icy roads leading to spin outs and accidents. Yeah, I almost had an accident. I lost control. An ambulance traveling on I-95 in Massachusetts nearly colliding with this car tumbling across the highway median. I obviously did a, a move and turn to the right, um, but it was a last second decision to, you know, go left or right. And luckily, I think I made the right decision. In Bourne, Massachusetts, a motorist stuck. Despite shoveling and a helpful push, this car can't get traction. Plows working round the clock, trying to keep up. Uh, getting ready to go out and check the roads uh, after our big storm. It's horrible. I hate the snow. More than a foot of snow falling in Connecticut. New York Central Park getting 3.2 inches, the most daily snowfall in more than two years. School closed, going remote, but problems online when students logged on for class. It took about 45 minutes, I'd say, to get everyone kind of up. The coastal areas of New England pounded by heavy surf. And more than 126,000 customers left without power across Pennsylvania. We don't have a generator. We're just winging it. Again, that heavy wet snow weighs down the power lines. Uh, power crews will be out today restoring power. Road crews out last night, they did a pretty good job actually uh, clearing most of the roads. But you certainly secondary roads and some sidewalks. There's going to be leftover slush here. And now the temperatures are well below freezing. I mean, this is hard ice and very, very slippery. So schools here in, in central Connecticut, most of them have on a two hour delay, hoping that the sun comes out. It will make the roads a little bit safer. But at least for the next few hours, it's going to be a little bit slick out there. Robin? It will, Rob. Everyone just take care. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.